Hi YouTube and welcome to this review of a Lego set and as you can see here I got a bag from uh, Warner Bros Brothers Studio Tour London The Making of Harry Potter I um, <clears throat> have been to London and then I were well, at Leavesden and check this and um, I really recommend you to go there because it was amazing and fantastic and yeah it was really fun but at the shop I bought a set that I wanted to have a very long time but in all the stores it was end so when I was there I yeah, they got all the uh, Harry, Lego Harry Potter sets, so I bought it. And uh, maybe you already have guessed it because of the title, but it is a review of the Lego Harry Potter set Quidditch match. But now, end of talking about this bag and leaves them, now we're going to the set. Okay, so here we have the box, and uh, yeah, I know this is set from 2010, but I bought, as you already know, I bought it at Leavesden and the making of Harry Potter, so I think it's very a special thing. Um, but uh, now do this box. Here we got uh, the Quidditch match, Quidditch match from uh, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. And over there you can see a bludger that is coming to Harry. And uh, Harry's trying to get the snitch. But Malfoy is after him. And here we got two fake persons. I know they are in the movie because it is Marcus Flint and Oliver Wood. But no one of them are beaters. Because Oliver Wood is a god, and um, Marcus Flint is a uh, well. He is. Tr I don't know what is named, but he is trying to get the quaffle into these goalposts and. Um, one more thing that is bad here is that you can see that he is beating the quaffle and uh, you must not do that in Quidditch so it's against the rules but Madame Hooch unfortunately haven't haven't seen it yet but now we're going to set so here I got a set and all the things behind the minifigures. And I'll start here to the left. And here we got Madame Hooch. Madame Rolanda Hooch. She has a broom, uh, brown broomstick so that she can fly and uh, look if someone makes wrong. And she got a printed H there. H and that is standing for Hogwarts of course. She got black a black cloak and uh, the torso is pretty cool. And she got the same hair as Kantuku from Lego Star Wars. Um the Clone Wars version of course. And she got flying goggles. Um but if I turn here on the head she doesn't wear goggles um, but I think, think she looks like a big bud in the face now so I usually have this face only in flying lesson I don't have this face and now to um, Harry Potter he has already caught the snitch so he's really happy 
and he got his Nimbus 2000 broomstick and in if you got the Hogwarts castle you can um, uh, you you can make him hold uh, his firebolt broomstick and I got Hogwarts castle yay now um, the only sets that I miss well, my brother got Hagrid's hat but the only sets I miss is the Forbidden Forest and the Burrow. Then we got I got all the sets, or me and my brother. But um, yeah, now to the minifigures, and not about which sets I got. You got white pants and um, brown fly, brown gloves, and the snitch is a round p. Uh, is a round, round Lego piece, just one stud, and he got the uh, Gryffindor crest in over there, and uh, Gryffindor's colors, gold and red. Um, yeah, and um, he uh, got a double head, like all the Harry Potter mirror figures from 2010. Here he is very happy because he's caught the snitch. But he lost the snitch. Oh, bad for you. He got it back. Yay. Now to the god, Oliver Wood. Um, a funny thing is that it's exactly the same face and face and hair as that comes with to Mutt Williams from Lego Indiana Jones and I think that's really yeah so if you you can you want if you can if you want this like Oliver Wood it's okay but you also can have it to Mutt Williams and um, except for the head and hair uh, he got exactly the same details as Harry and then we got a Slytherin team. We start with the Seeker, Draco Malfoy. And he got his Nimbus 2001 broomstick. And uh, white pants, brown gloves, uh, back slicked hair, and brown cloak. And here he's angry. He thinks, yeah, Slytherin's going to win the match. But after when Gryffindor won the match. No! Why? And there is a silver detail here that represents Slytherin's crest and he got white and green or silver or green but on the torso is white and green and these those two don't got yellow ah uh, gold, it's yellow and now come to Marcus Flint. He's the only minifigure in this set that don't have a double head. And I can prove it. He also have a Nimbus 2001 broomstick. This hair is not new, but the head is new. Um, and I, this hair was first in Lego Agents, I think. Uh, uh, yeah. And in Harry Potter and the Half Blood Prince, Ron is a god. Um, so he got a helmet. So why would not Wood have a helmet? Because he don't look great. And the Quidditch helmets are the same as used for pilot flying the airplane pilots or air pilots or yeah um and you got with two extra quaffle and bludger and um
um, yeah, it is wood on the box that it will be there. And uh, I haven't cheated. Here I got them, and there. And uh, it's just a chest. Nya, 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 nya. That wants to eat you. But here we got some cool catapults. This one is red and it's for Slytherin. Just a joke. Gryffindor. And here is the Beaters Club. I have put it there because no one of the Gryffindors or Slytherin's team are that you get with here are a Beecher. So they no one of the figures need it. But if I would have one more Quidditch match, I think I would make the two more Gryffindor persons to Fred and George. And yes, I got Diagon Alley. I think I have recorded a review, but um it's on my old camera and I don't know where it is and I can't use and now I don't mean the flip share camera, I mean another camera. Um, yeah. And the catapults are the same as they as are used on Lego Kingdoms theme. And um yeah. Um, if you win Quidditch, the last Quidditch match, the reward is the Quidditch Cup. And uh, yeah, it's this cup was first made for Lego World Racers. It only came out 2009 or 8. I think it was 2009, maybe 2008. And um, you, we can see Gryffindor and Slytherin, and Slytherin flags, and uh, the cup is standing on the table. Uh, here we got some goal posts. They are different tall, um, and they are not this color to represent Gryffindor, I think, but it could represent Gryffindor, but I don't think so. And this was pretty hard to put on, and I became really angry. Because you see, it's not straight. But um, in real, these are used to fence in other fences, in other, in other Lego themes. So they will be straight. But if you want, but if you got this piece, you can make a goalpost. And these are made to be straight, so it was really hard to put them in there. And uh, I think it took five minutes to have made the first, and then I was, and then I was, uh, yeah, I was going to make two more. That was not so kind, I think. Um, yeah, and uh, you can put a minifigure here. In the gold post, and maybe this is a ch this is cheating, but this is the only way. Except if you will use invisible or invisible uh, Lego statics. Um, and here we got a referee's tower and. Uh, now we're giving some advertisements for Ravenclaw. That's really good. So, if Madame Hooch don't want to fly around, she can just sit down on the little chair there. And she can tell, oh, Slytherin made a goal. Slytherin scores. Harry Potter has scored a snitch. And uh, there's a golden flag up here. And, um. Ugh. And people can fly around here. Um, through here. Ugh. Um, yeah. 
And um, that was all. And I hope you liked it. And if you want more Lego videos, I then I give you a tip to subscribe. Whoops. But it will be more Lego, more, more videos. And I think I will get um, much views because I will. One of the tags will be making the making of Harry Potter. Um, so, but I may have wrong. But if I write, I want you to answer this question. Do you want me to make a review on General Grievous Starfighter? That said, it's also from, also from 2010, and I couldn't find it. But uh, no, there is not any Clone Wars thing. Oh, Clone Wars. The making of Clone Wars or something. Or Star Wars. But then I bought it. At, but I actually bought it at Toys R Us. But then I ask you, do you want me to make a review? And I can make a review. Wait, and I will give you a proof. Here you got it. And there we got Grievous. Um, so my question is, do you want me to make a review of it? Maybe I'll do it, or maybe not. I am... Um, I will, yeah, I'll think, but if I got many persons that want to, um, me to make a review, I will do it. But if there's someone that uh, that doesn't want it, I won't make a review. Um, yeah, but I don't think I will make a review, it's only if you want it. Um, because you don't need to see every Lego set I got. Um, and unfortunately I can't make, I, oh yeah, yes, I can make a review of Republic Gunship. Um, but I don't want it. Because, firstly I bought it for, um, two or three years ago. And secondly, one, some pieces are lost, and um, the floor I've put in grey Lego bricks so that you can stand straight up. And doesn't need to stand on a special place, so you can stand where you want. But that was all for me, and um, thank you for watching this video. Bye.